All right, sorry about that. It only gives me 15 minutes to load on YouTube. So I just want to end it because, unfortunately, Isaiah ends with a warning about if you reject the Lord, this is your reality. It says, because hell is eternal. And a lot of people want heaven without hell. But heaven is a biblical concept. So if you accept the reality of heaven and people dying and going to heaven, you have to accept the reality of hell. But God did not create hell for people. He created hell for the angels that rebelled against him. It's their place. It's a place for, the, the, for Satan to go. But people choose it. And as we read through Isaiah, the whole book, you see God's heart for Israel. My bride, my bride, my wife, come back to me. Why are you committing adultery on me? Jesus' heart for my people. God's heart is, and Jesus' heart is that all to come to salvation. He gives people chance after chance, and yet they refuse him. And so hell is the reality. If you reject the Lord, hell is the reality. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Why is Jesus the only way, the truth, and the life? Because he is God in the flesh. He's God in the flesh. And so he is worthy of our praise and our sacrifice. And that's why the Bible, or the, it says here, I want people to fear my word. I want them to tremble at my word. That's why it's so important to read our word because we need to know what God's heart is. And people will say, well, God is the God of hate in the Old Testament. No, look at, look at, he's calling them his bride. He's calling him his wife. He's saying, you committed adultery on me, but I keep taking you back. I'll keep taking you back. Repent, repent. I want humble and contrite hearts. And then he's talking about, you'll live with me forever in the glory of my new Jerusalem and my new heaven, where you're not going to weep and you're going to mourn. But if you choose to do evil, you have no peace. And so he's warning people like a father warns their child, don't do the things that you're not supposed to do because your life is going to go into utter destruction. We as good parents warn our kids of that. How much more a father is warning his, the people, don't do the things that are going to get you into trouble, that are going to give you into death. And so anyways, it's a father's heart in the Old Testament. It's a father's heart in the New Testament. It says, Jesus said, when you see me, you hear you see the Father. When you hear me speak, you hear the Father. That's why we have to read the Old Testament and the New Testament so that we can know the Father and Jesus' heart. So let me pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you and praise you for your word. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are understanding it more. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just be with us today, that we would tremble at your word, that we would have humble and contrite hearts. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would be with Noah, continued healing over him, we pray for the upcoming pap scan in November, Lord Jesus, that when he goes before him, that there's not going to be a trace of cancer. There's not going to be a trace of a remnant that you have plucked it from the root and thrown into the depths of the sea. We pray that he is resting in you and resting um, in um, his body is um, rejuvenating itself and strengthening itself. Lord Jesus, that you are multiplying all the good cells, that his levels will remain normal, um, even above normal, and that he just is feeling strong, healthy, um, and imperfect. Um, peace. Lord Jesus, we just thank you and praise you for the miracle healing that you did and continued healing on him. I pray for healing for my friend, Lord Jesus, that all um, skin cancer will be removed in Jesus' name, that you're plucking it from the root and throwing it into the depths of the sea. We pray, Lord Jesus, just healing over her entire body from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. We pray for my dad, Lord Jesus, that we have his hunger restored. I pray for a miracle, Lord Jesus, if there's anything in his mind that's caused fear um, and that is um, given him like a reading disorder, whatever it is, I pray that that would be removed in Jesus' name, that you would give him a hunger and a thirst for earthly food and spiritual food. We ask this in Jesus' name. We pray um, healing to my mom and um, to um, everyone in our family for Scarlett. Um, Lord, just continued healing over her. And we pray, Lord, just for her doctor's appointments that they would go well. So, Lord, just, we just lift up um, our family and all of the prayer requests that are going unnamed. Um, um, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Love you guys. Bye.